Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Epic Universe is set to open next year, but before that happens, Universal Studios Florida is bringing the heat this summer, and we are here to experience it. With it comes a whole new land themed around the popular DreamWorks movies like Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and Trolls. And with it comes a whole range of themed food items for us to try. And today is the debut of the Mega Movie Parade, which celebrates some of the best movies from the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s, and more. And we'll end the night with a new nighttime spectacular sensational come with us on this adventure they have this model here of the park and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be like a lot more spread out I feel like we could spend hours in here just looking at this I cannot wait for Epic Universe to open next year and I don't know what I'm most excited about I think it might be Universal Monsters Dark Universe yeah I feel like that's the most like unknown the fact that they're going for it with the Dark Universe is so cool there's a Nintendo world with a Donkey Kong land which I'm super excited for that roller coaster like it looks like so much fun you're literally riding a minecart like in Donkey Kong and like hopping over the rails and stuff yeah and we both love how to train your dragon and I want to explore Wizarding World Paris that I feel like that's the one we know the least about yeah. at this point but like, if we know anything with what Universal could do with the Wizarding World, it's gonna be amazing. I just know it's gonna yeah. be awesome. I can't wait for all the new treats. There's so much to explore, and actually seeing this model, it's just, gigantic. It's, it's gigantic. It's, some might say epic. Yeah, I can imagine us on opening day walking through the giant Kronos entrance, and just like, where where would we go to first? I don't even know. In my mind, I was like, oh, we'll probably just go to whatever's closest. But I feel like we're probably gonna run to like Dark Universe, right? Dark Universe. <laughs> I think Dark Universe. So what makes this model of Epic Universe even more awesome is you can actually download an Epic Universe Preview Center app that's made specifically to interact with this model and they have an AR feature. So you can just point your phone at it and kind of like see the worlds come to life. So we're gonna try that right now. Which world should we try to make come alive? Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, okay. It says, beyond this gate, find gardens green and epic worlds to fill your dreams. Do you dare to enter? Okay. Okay, so these little icons pop up. I'm guessing you just, oh my God, you can see Donkey Kong in there. <gasps> Look at the roller coaster. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting it to just like, holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna click on one of these just to see. Oh, and then you click on it, it probably tells you about the rides and the food and stuff in the land. This is so cool. In Dark Universe, there's going to be a restaurant called the Burning Blade Tavern. And every so often, the windmill outside is going to burst into flames. And when you look at the AR thing on the app, you can actually see it like in the flames and it's spinning and stuff. That's kind of cool. This is kind of cool because this is one of the rides in the land. And you can actually see through the ride building. And you see like the Bride of Frankenstein like floating around and you see the ride vehicle and stuff. Oh my god. Wow. And we haven't even talked about Stardust Racers, which is this roller coaster, which at night I think the cars are gonna light up and look like stars going across the sky, which you can actually see in the augmented reality. Yeah, so there's four worlds in Epic Universe, but then there's a central area called Celestial Park which has some rides of its own. So this roller coaster is part of that, but like the space theme. So one thing that's cool about this Epic Universe Preview Center is it's not just the model. They actually have merch, like preview merch from all the land. And some of it is stuff that's probably only gonna be here. Like when you enter each of the worlds, there's gonna be this insignia above the portals. And they actually have like t-shirts for like the Wizarding World one right here. Yeah, I wanna buy like something from each world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I want something that says Epic Universe. Yeah, they also have stuff that just says Epic Universe on it too. Let's go look at it. So this thing right here is gonna be the thing that's above each of the portals into the world. But on the Kronos, there's also like a little coin. And I think that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be the time turner. Some of the merchandise here is just generic and not exclusive. Like they have a ton of Super Nintendo World merch, but some of it does actually say Universal Orlando Resort. 
and I'm not sure this is gonna be the stuff that's like available in the park. So this might be just preview merch. So if you wanna get it, grab it now. So did you notice anything about the Dark Universe portal? What? They literally put us in the concept art walking in. See us? You in your bucket hat, me with my backpack? Is that not literally us? Kind of. If it was a, if it was a neon green bucket hat, then yeah. No, you're right. But it is interesting that Dark Universe, I looked at this concept art, uh -huh. it's the village of Darkmoor. I don't ever want to leave this store. By we have way, so much more to do today. I can't wait to like actually walk through this portal into Dark Universe. Same. Like I've been saying, Dark Universe is the world that I'm probably most excited about. But the preview merchandise for Dark Universe is so ugly. <laughs> It's just like a bunch of lightning bolts. Not for me. Yeah, hopefully they come out with more merch. Yeah, they need they need some neon green. Okay, it's dark universe, not neon yellow universe. I really like this epic universe fanny pack, and I unzipped it, and they have this little thing in here where you could put your some credit cards, your ID, your annual pass, whatever, your park ticket. I like that. So I was looking at this epic universe merch, and I like it didn't click for me until right this moment. Epic universe. And then the merch has like stars on it, like a like a universe. Duh. And then the center of the epic universe is like celestial and it's all like space themed and star themed. Oh my god, I don't believe that you're just realizing this now. <laughs> Get it? And there's like stars on the hat. I, I got it like four years ago. See there's like stars on the spirit jersey. Universe. We we get it. Okay, well, I just now get it. We should mention that this is going to be the first Universal Park in the States that's going to have a hotel that you can stay inside the park. That's going to be cool. Yeah, we're going to have to try to stay there. So right now, I think we're going to head over to Universal Studios Florida, and the custodial cast member here is pumping everybody up. He deserves a raise. Great Scott, dog. Hey, Scott is right. How are you? I didn't know you were going to be here. Well, he's here for the parade, right? I'm here for everything. Then it will, yes. I like your shirt. It, it, is you there so any much. way you could send us into the future so we could experience Epic Universe? Uh, you're going to experience it anyway. Have you been to the preview center? Yes. Yeah, it was awesome. What do you think? It looks epic. I mean, it looks a little it is small. It's, <laughs> is this a theme park for ants? Oh, no. <laughs> That's more land over there than we have all over here. I mean, they Did didn't you know have that? time to build it to scale. Please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. Yeah. If you're a Beetlejuice, you can really enjoy it. That's true. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. You. Nice to see you. <laughs> enjoy the parade. Thank today. you so much. It's good seeing you, Doc. It's lunchtime and we're a little bit hungry, so we went to the Imagination Cafe. This is over where the Kid Zone Pizza used to be, right next to SpongeBob store pants. And I got myself the Ogaroni Pizza. This is pepperoni, fresh mozzarella, basil pizza sauce on a fluffy and crispy dough. I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks pretty good. You know what it looks like? It looks like that pizza calzone thing that we had over at the Minions Cafe. Yeah. Here, and I love that. Yeah. But it seems a little bit like, you can actually eat it with your hands, that yeah, but like, it's a little messy. At e first I tried to eat it just like picking it up, and that way you're kind of like eating the crust in, which is not how you want to eat a pizza. So I ripped it in half, and tore into it, and this is very good. Definitely heavy on the oregano, very sauce heavy as well, very zesty, but I think this might be, is this the best pizza that I've had at a theme park? It might be. Dang. It's up there, I'd give it a five out of five. Like, is it anything like incredible? No, but for theme park pizza, this is like a step above the stuff that we have in California. We, we did a whole video trying out all the yeah. pizza. This California. one would have definitely won. Yeah, this probably. one definitely would have won. So highly recommend, especially if you you know if you have a kid that's a picky eater. You know, this would be a perfect thing. Yeah. And it's the orgaroni because obviously Shrek is a an ogre, right? We get so it. So is does he like this pizza? Who knows? This, this is the episode where Ketra explains everything. I give it a five out of five too. I'm honestly kind of shocked, but ordinary adventure star got a bib up. That's not gonna say. Gotta you. put a bib on for the boss baby beignets, am I right? 
you gotta put a bib on for the balls of baby fish. That napkin's so small. Listen, beignets are messy. Yeah, that's not gonna cover anything though. All right, so we also got the Boss Baby beignets. This comes in a pack of six for only like $6. I feel like that's a pretty good deal, but the question is, do they taste good? And also the question is, is this something from the movie? I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen Boss Baby, so I have no clue. And they made these fresh for me. So I'm not gonna lie, these aren't the best. They're not bad, but I think they're a little bit overcooked. They're kind of like crunchy on the outside and then you're expecting like a fluffy inside, but they're hollow. Boss Baby beignets just didn't hit like the ogaroni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so we're finally entering DreamWorks land and right when you enter there's a bunch of meet and greets to your left hand side. There's Gabby from Gabby's Dollhouse. I don't know who she is but she seems lovely. Right next to it there's a DreamWorks meet and greet where they have King Julian but I think they rotate out characters. But the meet and greet that we want to do is Shrek and Donkey over at Shrek's Hut. And like the theming on the hut seems next level. Yeah. I wonder if there's a his outhouse is here too. <laughs> Hey, so good to see you. Welcome. Oh, I saw Welcome. the green. I thought it was going to be... Is that, is that... What is that on your back? It's a Mr. DNA from Jurassic Park. Ooh. <laughs> with all the dragons? Yeah. With all the dragons? Oh, yeah. That's my, I think my wife hangs out there sometimes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Yep. And she, we took the babies over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have the Shrexel over there. You see, it's, yeah, it's a pretzel yeah. in Shrek's face. Okay. You got to be careful about that cheese. You know what they say about that cheese. We have a dog back in our swamp, and mm -hmm. sometimes the dog will, they'll fart, and it's very like, uh, right. Wait, do you feed right? your dog cheese? I'm hey. a, you know, a millennial, and this movie hits hard for me. Like, this oh, was I, one of my favorite movies oh, when is, it first came amazing. out. Amazing. It's just cool that they have a whole DreamWorks land now. I just noticed on the ground, you can see Donkey's footprints. You can see some of Shrek's kids' footprints. You can see Shrek's footprints. I love all the details in this land. Even the trash cans are themed. There's an onion, and there's the gingerbread man, and there's an S for Shrek. I love it. People always talk about the Disney trash cans, but... I know! I love that they, they thought to make the trash cans themed here. Yeah, right next to Shrek's hut, there's a little splash pad that you can get pretty soaked, which is nice on a day like today. And by a day like today, I mean... Every day in Florida. Yeah. Every day that you come to Universal Orlando. Uh, and I noticed behind me there's some frogs. Or do you think they're friends with all the frogs in Tiana's Bayou Adventure? They're like cousins, like distant relatives or something. Maybe. <laughs> this is called King Harold's Swamp Symphony. And basically, I think you just step on the lily paws and then all the frogs sing. Make a song. Okay, I'm going to do the Budweiser song. Budweiser. Remember that commercial? Yeah. Budweiser. Uh. Bud. This one's the best. Oh my god, that's so funny that this splash pad will get you so wet that you can pay money to dry off using this ogre dryer. I mean, it is my color. Should you go get drenched and then dry off? No. Have you tried Shrek's eyeballs too? Yummy! <laughs> they have this thing in here called Pinocchio's Fact Shack and you push this button and then he tells a lie or a fact. It's cool, his nose like is long when he's telling a lie, it's so good. Okay, I think the Pinocchio thing might be my favorite part of DreamWorks Land. And it looks like you can go up here and like take some slides down and stuff. It is for little ogres, so it's not for adults, but I wanted to show you one thing up there. We found a Shrek's outhouse and it's actually kind of amazing, it's a slide. And when you slide down it, it makes farting noises. It's so good. You're just gonna have to believe me, I'm not gonna slide down it, but just like every like few minutes you hear like, <laughs> so we made our way into the troll portion of the land and they have this place called Troll Treats where they serve some soft serve inspired by Poppy and Leaf of the Troll movies. I decided to get the Leaf one. This is called Brozone Berry and it's a huckleberry flavor because I love Justin Timberlake and it is rapidly melting. I never understand why they serve ice cream in Florida because this is, I've only had it for like not even two minutes. Anyways, I better start eating it and stop talking but huckleberry sounds interesting. It has some crunchy like leaf candies on the top. This is really good. I love how it like looks like their hair. That's like so smart. Yeah. I think the poppy one was like a pink lemonade flavor. I would get it, but I don't, I don't want to have blue and pink all over my hands. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'll, I'll give this a four out of five. 
Don't watch me eat this. It, it's very Instagrammable, but like for like 30 seconds. Maybe go get me some napkins. In case you're wondering what huckleberry tastes like, it's not like too sweet. It just like it has a hint of a berry flavor. Pretty good. Definitely different. This seems like something that like you'd find like in one of the overseas parks. Like I'm surprised that they took a risk and have huck like you'd think it'd be blueberry or something. I'm sure most people are gonna get the other one, which is like lemonade. Mm -hmm. Go go. Poppy and Leaf are actually meeting right over here and next to this really cute fountain. But doesn't this look just like him? <laughs> like, I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, and look, the trash cans over in the troll area are themed like the trolls. You got the hair, you got the flowers, you even got the mushrooms. Next up, we're going to check out the DreamWorks Imagination Celebration, which I think is a show, but I love the mural on this building. Like, it has the clouds from the classic DreamWorks animation opening, but it has all the characters forming in the clouds. Like, how many can you spot? guessing there's at least 20 of them, but I think my favorite is two things. Pro tip, if you don't want your mouth to turn blue, maybe don't get the one that I got and get the other one. Get the poppy one. Well, that one would turn your mouth pink, but I guess it's already pink. I mean, that would match. Nobody would notice. Now yeah. I'm like self-conscious of my blue tongue. And I had to go to the bathroom and like literally scrub my hands and like it mostly came off, but it, I was in there for like 10 minutes like scrubbing. So just letting you know.
the Imagination Celebration is it's cute. It, it's kind of a dance party so that you get the classic DreamWorks animation characters up there and it was so cute fun. though. You actually get to sit down and I thought it was clever how like they had stuff in the clouds and there was even one part like when the Kung Fu Panda section happened like it kind of smelled like flowers or something. Did you smell that? I love the screens. Yeah. The screens made it like pretty immersive. And I love that they had like live actors up there singing the songs. It's definitely a glow up from what they had here before which was like the Barney thing. Barney thing. And then there was like a DreamWorks like dance party. Yeah. This is much much better than both. Yeah, those. I love that. It's nice and air conditioned. You could go sit down, hear some good music. I don't know. I liked it a lot. And I just wanted to say, before we get a million comments about this, actually we probably already did. I think I called him Leaf and I know that his name is Branch. I'm sorry. His name <laughs> is Branch. I don't know why I was calling him Leaf. It was hot out here, but his name is Branch. So if you wrote a comment, go ahead and delete it. Right outside of the theater, there's the High Five Hideaway, which is where they have some merch for the land. So let's check it out. So there's a bunch of these really cute cats, and this, I guess, is from Gabby's Dollhouse. Do I need to watch Gabby's Dollhouse? Because... Probably not. What about these Kung Fu Panda t-shirts for little kids? I almost wanted to say he's in the shape of a bow, yeah, but maybe maybe that's what inspired his head and the character design. I like his character design. Yeah, and of course, all the cute merchandise has Poe on it. A lot of this merch is obviously for little kids, but I like this <laughs> Shrek happens. This is for adults. Well, what the Shrek? <laughs> These are adorable. Yeah, it looks like something that would almost be in Asia. I found a couple new pair of ears. This is obviously Poppy from Trolls. This is so cute. And then, then these are from Shrek. It's a little gingerbread guy. This definitely looks like something that we could have found in Beijing for sure. Tell me or I'll- No, not the buttons. Not my gumdrop buttons. All right then. They have a cooling towel in here that's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. it, says, it says just chillin' and it has Poppy, Shrek, and Poe on there. <laughs> just chillin'. Get it? Chilling. Because it's a cooling towel. I get it. The only ride in this land is called the Troller Coaster. It's replacing the Woody Woodpecker roller coaster that used to be here before. And I gotta say, it's pretty cute. Whatever that little creature is on the front, I love him. And it has the best name ever, Troller yeah, Coaster. Troller Coaster, get it? Roller Coaster, Troller Coaster. It's obviously a family-friendly kind of kitty coaster, but it's cute. <laughs> so DreamWorks Land is more of a children's play area than it is like a real theme park land, in my opinion. A lot of like water play areas. Right now we're going into the Kung Fu Panda area, which it's normally supposed to be like a water play area, but it looks like the water's turned off for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, but I love the theming in here. So many cute little details, and I love the music that they're playing. It's like reminding me of when we were in Beijing and we went to the Kung Fu Panda Land. Yeah. But yeah, it's a shame none of the water is working, but I didn't want to get wet anyway. <laughs> Which Universal did the Kung Fu Panda Land better? Universal uh, Orlando or Universal Beijing? I'm going to say Beijing wins that one. <laughs> so at the back of the land, there's a thing called Po Live, which I think is kind of like turtle talk with crush. And it happens every 30 minutes. So we're going to check that out right now. I got the toys. Everything is going to go really well. All right. So, oh, Master Tigress, I have failed you. Oh, no. You just have to be more like Poe, the dragon warrior. Ah, oh, come on, guys. You don't have to say that. No, Poe, you are the greatest warrior and teacher. And teacher that the value of peace has ever seen. Enough chit chat. Let's fight. Wings of justice. Hiya, hiya. Oh, no, guys, don't fight. No, Poe, this must happen. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Clash, clash, pa 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 oh, ho, oh. Hi. I, of course, am Poe, the Dragon Warrior. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll take a woo. I appreciate that. Yeah. Ah, oh, today's such a good day. You know why? Because Master Shifu has asked yours truly to teach you guys the art of Kung Fu. Hiya. Wah, pa 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 But I think it's about snack a clock. Someone, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you guys like stir-fry? Anybody like stir-fry out there? Yeah. yeah, oh, awesome. This dude in the gray t-shirt over here was just like, yes, me. What's your favorite part, my guy? What do you like in your stir-fry? I like beef. What is it? Beef. Vegetables? Oh, I do like vegetables, but that's because I'm a panda. And so I'm gonna put some veggies in there. Let's see what we got. Let's see what Master Monkey bought. All right. So let's see. Yeah. All right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. All right. So technically, this isn't a vegetable. 
And yeah, arms out. Like this. Yep. Awesome. And then make a grumpy face because that's what Master Target says. She's always grumpy, right? Yeah. And then I want you to give one of the biggest, craziest roars you've ever given in your life. So go like this. Roar! You guys. Yes, that's your roar? That's how you would scare your enemies? I think we could do it, I think we could do it a little bit better, all right? Because if Master Tigress ever heard that, she could come in and karate chop me in the face. Ho Live is super fun for little kids. I love like the voice actor, like that sounds like Jack Black playing Poe. And I feel like it's more technically advanced than Turtle Talk with Crush. Obviously, Turtle yeah, Talk he was, is like, picking up. I yeah, know. he was like turning. He was like, "You like vegetables?" And then he like picked up a dumpling and he was like turning around. And I wonder if it's like an actor like moving it, like like motion capture. Yeah, or... I almost want to know how it. How yeah, it works, but, but so that kind of impressed me. But it's definitely a nice place to cool down, like for the kids to have fun. It happens like every like 30 minutes. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm glad that we got to see it. Oh, it looks like some of the water is working now but not all of it. I noticed that even over here in the Kung Fu Panda Land, the trash cams are themed. We have Poe eating some noodles, of course. I just love the attention to detail. All the trash cans in each different area is different. I like when you're leaving, it's a skadoosh. All right, so we had to check out Swamp Snacks because Shrek and Fiona and Donkey all said to get the Shrexel. And what this is, is a pretzel shaped like Shrek, and they give you some green Shrek swamp cheese, which is like burning hot. That looks gross. <laughs> it doesn't look like cheese. I know it's just cheese, but like, is it ew. Just I just love this. This is so good. <laughs> this is also like $13, so kind of expensive. I'm sad to say that this kind of is disappointing because like it's cool looking, but it's very, very dense. Like it doesn't taste like a normal pretzel and doesn't have that much salt on it. I think Universal has a problem with creating like specialty pretzels. Like there's one over in Hollywood, the fire flower pretzel, that it tastes exactly like that. It looks cool. It does look cool. Makes for a good photo. It's, I mean, it's carbs, it's bread, like, but unfortunately it's just not the best pretzel. And then the cheese sauce like really has, does nothing. Like it adds no flavor, nothing. So I'm sad to say this will probably get like a two out of five, but it's cool looking, right? I'm glad I tried it. There's a bunch of things that swamp snacks. There's a pizza waffle. There's a pretzel dog. There's like this, even this dessert that looks like it's dirt and has like worms in it. But the thing I had to get is the Frozen Ogre Sour Apple Popsicle. And it looks like Shrek. You guys are twins. I mean, I had to get it because I love this <laughs> it's color. It's literally the same color as your outfit. Now, I've heard that people have problems opening this. So we got to follow the instructions. Remove pop from sleeve, peel back film from, to, from any corner, hold stick, push the ice pop out to see if we can do this without it breaking. So I've heard. You're doing great. People Slow and funny. steady. Oh no! Oh. oh! Oh God! Oh my God! Like he's so melted. <laughs> Go hurry, try him. Okay. Let's let's try to eat Shrek Go. before he melts. That is like so green apple, candy green apple times a hundred. Five out of five, Peter. Actually, you gotta try. This is amazing, ordinary adventure star. Don't get the pretzel. Just get like a bunch of these and eat them quickly before they melt. They also had a donkey one that was like chocolate fudge, but I feel like this one's the better one. Okay, it's literally melting. <laughs> so the real reason we are here today is to see the new parade. It's the Mega Movie Parade. It has like all the movies from my childhood. Like Back to the Future, Ghostbusters. Jaws, E.T., yeah. all the good stuff. I'm so excited. Although it says it's technical rehearsal, which means probably not everything's going to be here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be the complete parade, but you know what? I'm excited nonetheless. Okay, so those clouds up there, either there's some ghosts coming or maybe some Florida weather. Hopefully it doesn't ruin our parade today. Do you want your poncho, just in case? It's getting darker by the moment. I, I've got these. I don't know if these are going to protect us, but I've got them. Okay. Hand me one of those if it starts raining, but I don't... Okay. Right after I turned off the camera, a lightning struck way over there, 
and ten seconds later there was thunder. So, uh, good news or bad news, Peter? Good news. Good news. You're amazing, and then your your green new cover on the camera, a must. Uh, bad news is it's lightning out, uh, so I think it'll be delayed, if not canceled. No. Nope. As a, as a cover-up, Peter and Kitcher flew all the way here just for this parade, okay? But it's actually just a technical rehearsal because things weren't ready. Well, when we got on the plane, it wasn't a technical rehearsal. It's going to be interesting. We did see some lightning, but I counted after the lightning struck 10 seconds, 10 miles away. So we're, we're good so far. We'll see. You're a scientist, right? I'm a scientist, yes, by the way, yes. I'm a meteorologist. That's what I do by... My, the rest of the time. When you're not making TikToks about uh, pooping. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. I'm just a meteorologist. That's why I can't wear green most of the time, because I'll just blend in with this. Well, thank you for making yeah. me feel better. No problem. So does that mean it's actually going to happen? Uh, I mean, they didn't come on and say, sorry, it's going to be cancelled. So... A few moments later. Okay, the parade has begun and we can already see some of the floats and they look amazing.
Now that's over, it started to rain. Hey, what? Uh, Dominic Toretto, Fast and Furious. Come on, family. Okay, sorry. Okay, that parade was awesome. The floats were all epic. My only complaint is the music was a little low. Yeah, the music needs to be turned up a little bit. That's my only complaint. But it, everything blew my mind one after another after another. They did a really good job. And like we said before, this is technically a, a technical rehearsal. So some yeah. of the floats are missing. Like I think a Fast and the Furious float. I'm not sure what else. Yeah. What was your favorite float that we saw? Ghostbusters. My favorite was Jurassic at the end with the T-Rex. Yeah. It was like moving. I don't know if they were puppeteering it or what, but it was awesome. And Back to the Future. That, oh yeah, oh my God. How can we forget that we yeah. got to see Marty McFly and Doc. We got to see Owen Grady. We got to see so many characters yeah, I didn't Claire, think we would get. Claire Deering. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing those characters as meet and greets to the park, Universal, I the love cowards. How, I love how like each parade section, it kind of had a twist on the Universal song. Like it was like yeah, the yeah. Back to the Future song, but then it would be like dun 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 dun. <laughs> and it's funny, just as the parade finished, it started pouring out. Yeah, so. so we got really lucky. So the other thing that we're super excited about seeing tonight is the nighttime show. It's called Cine Stational, and it's like a water show with drones. We've kind of bunkered down in Mel's because it's raining outside so we're hoping the show still happens. So good news, it's actually not raining and I can actually see some sky outside right now. I literally went out there five minutes ago and it was pouring rain but now the skies have cleared up a little bit and there's no rain so I think we're good. stories. Cinematic music speaks directly to the heart, taking us into inspiring adventures. And tonight, those very melodies call upon us to follow a celestial spectacle, and you never quite know just where that story may lead. So let the music guide our path, and take us on a journey that can only be described as sensational. Inside my bones, it goes electric, baby, when I 
simple notes strung together in just the right key and tempo can inspire the imagination taking us back in time leaving us wanting more and as our cinematic symphony gently fades into the calm of the night these enchanting melodies will continue to echo within us becoming universal harmonies that inspire us all to live out our own epic adventures.
joining us for Sensational, a symphonic spectacular. We truly hope you have enjoyed your visit here today to Universal Studios Florida. Okay, that show was amazing. Unfortunately, right before the show happened, there was some lightning in the air, so the drones didn't go up. And that was the thing I was looking forward to the most. But that said, even without the drones, I would say this is better than the current World of Color at Disney California. Yes, Disney. this was so much fun. There was fireworks, there was lasers, there was water. Projections it, Projections, on the... it hit all of our favorite movies. It had tender moments, it had scary moments. Like, yeah. And I love it at the end, there was like this thing that was like epic, like getting us excited for Epic Universe. Yeah. Speaking of which, the Epic Universe Preview Center, I'm so excited, which by the way, Universal has really brought it this summer with the opening of DreamWorks Land, with the new parade, with this new Show. nighttime spectacular. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I hope you guys had a good time too. Yeah. If you want to see the best foods at Universal Studios Orlando, we'll put the video right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes... Tiffany, Bailey, and Velcro Kid, thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching guys, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.